Welcome back AACPS staff. This is the third in our video tutorial. Now that we have uh, gotten started in WeVideo, we've got our project created, we're in storyboard mode, and we've added some media to our project, we're going to talk about some additional options for what you can add to a project that you're building. So if we turn our attention up here to our toolbar in the upper left hand corner, we have a menu option here called text followed by backgrounds. And we're going to see exactly what's available in each of these to add to our project. When we select text, we get the ability to add different kinds of text clips to our project that we're creating. These make great transitions. They announce to your audience that something is changing, maybe the topic is changing, in some way um, as a transition from one video clip to the next. So as you scroll through, you'll see that there are some text clips that just include a single line of text, others that have multiple lines of text with colored backgrounds or small colored boxes that the text appears on. And then there's even options over here to look specifically for static or still um, text options in season, callouts, theme. So right now, if I click on one of these, because this is listed as a motion, we can see that what we get is this sort of flying in and flying out effect. If we click on static and choose one of these, we get a still image of text here. So again, in-season callouts, theme, and so on. When you find something that you would like, once again, you can simply drag it down to your storyboard area and it has now become a part of your project. Let's take a look at what's available in the backgrounds. The backgrounds contain these very bright colored, uh, again, they work great as transitions. So we've got things like uh, horizontal TV noise, clouds, curtains, a warm glow, uh, water bubbles, and so on. We can click on any of these to see the motion that's included in the background. And as with everything else, if you decide that you like one of these backgrounds, you can simply drag it down and place it on the storyboard. And those are the two additional options for what you can add to a project that you're creating. 